So how weird of a feeling is it when you win the shootout, but your season comes to an end? Um, it was weird taking the shootout, to be honest, because we, we knew the scores um, before the game we finished, just with today's age, you know, all the results. So taking the penalties, we knew that it wasn't going to be enough. I don't know if the guys knew it or not, but on, on the side, the staff did. So I still wanted us to win for the fans, the players to finish on a win. Um, I think maybe that, that helps a little bit to, to have not lost today. But yeah, it's kind of a strange feeling to be taking penalties in a game that you know isn't really going to impact you. When you have the early lead six minutes in, was it try to get a second that just didn't come or was it hold on to that? What was the thought process after that one? No, still try to attack. Um, yeah, I think knowing being 1-0 up with six minutes to go is, is a very long time, especially in this league. So it was, yeah, continue the game plan of trying to, trying to create more chances. Um, we struggled a little bit with their, how they, just their shape was. They created that overload in midfield and that was kind of the main focus of trying to fix that. It took a little bit of, a little bit of time to, to organise that and that kind of detracted a little bit away from our attacking game plan. Um, but second half we created maybe three, three good chances, three chances we'd want in the right places and that's just soccer. Sometimes they, the goalkeeper makes saves or the ball just goes wide. So it's, yeah, that, the plan was to win and even right up to the end to, to try and get the win and, and just keep it in our hands that way by numbers rather than just a, a one nil or, or something close. Knowing what was at stake, how important was it to land that first punch really on really early on in the game? Yeah, I think it's always huge. The first team to get the, the goal, that's always going to swing the momentum. I think at home here in front of the fans, the noise, scoring early, that can, can definitely have a huge impact. So I think that's the, the way we want to go, try and impact the game state, impact what the other team are doing. They have to, to chase the game a little bit harder. Um, you never really know their game plan. So by it's always they never want to concede so if we can score early that's going to change that and we want to score and score and kind of continue to put that attacking pressure on to help us so it's unfortunately for for us there's always good players and good coaches in the league that come up with a, with a plan b and then it's just how can we adapt and, and try and get ahead of them that way so what did you say after the game now the season's over to the players um i thanked them obviously i came in nine days ago and it could be easy for, for guys to check out or not put the effort in, but they worked hard, they, they wanted to learn, they listened, they tried to implement some of the stuff we as a, a staff talked about. Um, I wanted them to look at the bigger picture, that we didn't make the playoffs based on the entire season. Um, dropping points in other games, not winning games or tying, that is just as important as the, the one or two mistakes today. So I also mentioned that all the things we enjoy as a club right now were done by people a year ago, two, four, five, 15, 16 years ago. And in five, 10, 15, 20 years, however long, that cl the club will still be here. So we are contributing to that, that success of the club, the history of it, even if it's not always with wins and titles, what we do on the field and what we do, have done in the community, that helps the club to grow and be better for the guys coming in, the fans, the community, the city, all of that. So I want to remind them there was a, a bigger picture and it wasn't just the, the feeling of, of defeat today. Touching on that, taking over nine days ago and having the incredible win in Toronto and then with this, how has this just been a whirlwind for you the last less than two weeks? Yeah, it's been, I mean, it's always hectic at the end of the season, especially when, when playoffs are involved and, and definitely in this league when you don't know for sure, there were so many variables of if, if we could get into the playoffs. Um, so that always makes it a bit of a roller coaster. And then obviously coaching changes, guys, staff, you never know what happens in the long term. So you kind of really have to focus on, on what you're doing. And the plan was to treat it as, as playoffs had started. The first game was last week, the second game was this week, and, and try to win. So that's sports, that's life. There's always that roller coaster. So I guess it's how you approach it and trying to get yourselves on the fun part rather than the, the difficult bits. Is the finality of it um, tough with this, the way this league is? You don't know who will be back, if you'll be back, and stuff like that. All of a sudden, it's just over. Yeah, it is tough. Um, I mean, that, unfortunately, that is part of the job. Um, it's tough because you build relationships with players, um, with people in the community, and then you never know how quick quick things can change. So we go from planning to for next week and hopefully four more weeks to going to have to say goodbye to some guys on, on Tuesday. So that's tough, and I think that's one of the hardest part of the jobs is, is those exit meetings with the guys um, because you, you continue to see the human side of it as well. So. Unfortunately, that's the, there's a lot of upsides to this game, but one of the downsides is the, the moving on and, and changing things, unfortunately. This last couple of weeks has been a good experience for you overall? 
Uh, yeah, the, yeah. The guys have been wonderful. The club's been really supportive. Um, I'm really thankful that they give me the opportunity and the chance to to to, to try and help. Um, I did the best I could. I think I I'm proud of the work I've done. I would have been happier we had one more goal today and won. But I I think I've I've contributed uh, contributed to the season going in the right direction, even if we couldn't get that win today. So yeah, it's it's been it's a little tougher as a head coach. Maybe you sleep a little bit less or different reasons, but it's. That's something I, I want to do and want to be, and I think I've, I've, I've got skills to do. So if I can help out in any way, I'm, I'm happy to do that. It's difficult um, so soon after this result, but can you kind of summarize the strides that this club has taken this year in 2024? Um, yeah, I think being on a national stage, I think in the leagues before, teams knew of Chattanooga a little bit because of the community experiences playing here back in the amateur days and the NISA days and then now playing against first team eyes even if it's not on the field that that has helped raise the the level of the club to for clubs to come here and see what we do off the field and on the field um, that's been huge as well because I think we've always been in our been that big fish in a small pond and now showing that we can compete with some bigger clubs and Showing that we have good ideas and we're we're on the right path for it as well. So I think that's that's a huge stride that we're now nationally known. And it would have been great to go a little bit further in it, but um, I think there's lots of times players have shined, the clubs have shined off the field, the team shined on the field, and that's I think helped us and the, the city and the community as well. So hopefully next year is a a bigger jump and we go a little bit further than we, we've done this year.